can tell the sun in his jealous sky when we walked in fields of gold. So she took her. So we're out at uh, Minari Winery in Murphy's, California this morning, and it's just a beautiful morning. Um, I love painting out here. There's so much to choose from. And actually, one of the hardest things about going out to paint plein air is deciding what not to paint. Um, everywhere you turn, everything's beautiful. So the way that I help to resolve that problem is I get out my sketchbook, and I start to make little thumbnail studies of different ideas for painting. Um, pretty quickly, I have to calm myself down and narrow in on one or two ideas, and then from there decide what I'm going to paint. And you can tell the sun in his jealous sky when we walked in fields of gold. Hey, really, the most interesting thing is this line right here against this dark that's underneath the eave of the, um, of the barn. I think that contrast of light against dark, architectural against organic, is a really interesting thing to look at. I swear in the days still left We'll walk in fields of gold When I'm outside doing a plein air painting, I usually um, only have about two hours before the light changes so radically that it ends up being a totally different scene. So the paintings outside are pretty rapid, two hours, two and a half at the most, and I usually take them to about 80% completion. Um, the reason is I really like to make some final decisions when I'm away from the scene that's out there to try to decide what the painting needs on its own, separate from the scene. Sometimes an area will be so beautiful that you're painting that you start to get a little bit too literal with what you're seeing. But the painting itself needs to stand on its own, away from the scene. And I find that I can make those decisions better once I'm back in the studio and I'm not looking at the scene that I'm painting. We live in a really beautiful area up here in Murphy's. Um, I love to travel and go to different areas too. And I think one of my favorite things is just getting in the car and driving around. Um, so often I'll have a destination in mind to go paint. And I'll get up in the morning and get in the car and head out there. And next thing you know, I've pulled off the road halfway to the destination and I'm painting because something else caught my eye. I love the extremes of day, the early morning light and the late evening light. It, the, the light moves really quickly and there's that energy and excitement of having to put the paint down really fast and try to catch that, that quality of light that in the middle of the day you can take your time and to me it's not quite as exciting. Many years have passed since 